So I was looking forward to driving to Paris the other day and then saw, where am I going to charge the car? Is it going to be available? Is it going to be expensive? Let's take a look at that today. Unfortunately, on this occasion, I took the train, so you won't see me charging, but we have a good look at what's available. Now, the first thing to recognize is that if you want to charge, you're going to have to use one of the Belib stations, because they're pretty much the only option in Paris, aside from the odd parking lot or potentially a kind of BP station on the peripheric. The Belib network is owned by Total Energy, who won a tender in December 2020 and took possession of the network in March 2021. They now claim 2,300 charging points, a large increase on what was available before. So that's good news. All right, let's have a look at the brochure now. What does it say? So it talks about the number of charge points, uh, only able to charge up to 50 kilowatt DC. Uh, it seems that the first car park hub, which is where you're going to have the really higher speeds, uh, is only coming live now. Uh, three choice of payment, so that's convenient. You want your credit card and debit card as one of the options, obviously, especially if you're a visitor. Um, so that's that's fine. Now they have a couple of different types of chargers, as we'll see in a second. The the main type is this flex, the up to seven kilowatt AC, and they've got loads of those. And then they've got the Boost and Boost Plus. Uh, although I don't think I've seen any Boost Plus in real life just yet. Uh, but the Boost gives you up to 22 kilowatts in DC, which is a bit better, I guess. Okay, so let's have a look at real life now. So if we start with a standard station with five connectors, seven kilowatt each, uh, you can see three out of five being used. Uh, the touchscreen is not very impressive at all. In fact, I was struggling a little bit, but you can see your type two and your type EF connectors. some good availability and you, you will see that across the whole video in different stations. Now it's 55 cents of euros per 15 minutes so it's by duration not by kilowatt hours um, and that would be true in only certain arrondissements of Paris so from 12th to 20th. Others are more expensive. At night, there are discounted rates for the residents, but only for the residents. That could be why you don't see that many cars charging. And still the problem with the screen. Like the good old screen you would find when taking a train. As we've said, credit cards are accepted, so that's going to be convenient. And this is a boost station, so that's one of the faster DC charging at 22 kilowatt. Now that's also more expensive. This one is 1.9 euros per 15 minutes. And again, plenty of availability at most times I've had a look. Now, this is more in the city center in the third arrondissement. In this case, there's only one slot available. And again, very good availability uh, in another location on a Sunday morning. Now, that's one of the expensive kinds because it's the 11th arrondissement. So that's another 90 cents per 15 minutes. Quite expensive, actually.
So it's all a little bit complicated uh, with different rates depending on the arrondissement, depending on how long you stay, depending on whether you're a subscriber. So if we try to boil it down, uh, for someone who's a visitor, you're going to be spending about 35 to 40 cents per kilowatt hour in the 12th to 20th arrondissement, or if you use the boost, and 60 cents elsewhere. Well, that's it for today. I hope this will prove somewhat helpful as you plan your trip. Do let me know in the comments what your experience is of charging in Paris.